Hello everybody and welcome back. Well I can tell you that the spider most definitely won that fight. And it'll eat well for a while now having caught that wasp. Right, on to today's video. So going back a few years, when I first started tropical gardening, what I really wanted were really big lush plants. And most of all I wanted a nice canopy where I could walk in now I'm be surrounded by plants and have a look up into the canopy, into the leaves. Now that's what I really wanted. So I, I think that is possible to do in the UK. So I'm going to go through what I think you need to do if you want to get a canopy. So I think the first and most important step is to have paths that run through the beds. You know, instead of having lawn and then looking onto the plants, have one bit where your paths run through the beds Obviously that's going to be a lot easier to get the canopy. And I think making the paths quite narrow is a good thing as well. It really let, lets you feel like you're surrounded by the plants. So the second step is I know when, when you're learning horticulture or you're reading books, watching people on the telly, what they'll say is plant the big stuff to the back and then layer it down over small stuff at the front, which could work, you could plant a load of trees at the back and have the canopy, but I don't think that looks very jungly. So, for what I'm gonna call the canopy makers, plant them plants closer to the path, like I've done here with this tracker, you don't have to have it right on the path, but plant that close to the path, and then, obviously, when it grows, you can go underneath it and look, and we've got that canopy above his head. Obviously, it's not there yet, but it's getting there. See, so, you know, like I say, you look up, you've got leaves above your head. So what, what plants can we use to create a canopy? Well, we'll start here. These are plants that I've got in my garden. You might know more, better ones. This is a Trachycarpus fortunii. Really fast growing, big fronds, and like I said, I've had this in about five years, and I've already get the, getting the canopy. Well, it's getting there. So another plant that I've got in my garden. I've shown this a few times before. The Tetrapanax papyrifera. Again, nice big leaves grows really well, really fast. Mine is starting to get drunk on it now, and quite slow. But it, it, I mean, I've seen a lot bigger specimens in, in your garden. It's got really nice soil. It'll probably go a lot faster. You get a lot drunk a lot faster. You could maybe use big myth campus grasses, but I'm not. I'm not that sure. Planting them close to a path is that good because they're a bit sharp. And when you, it's been raining, and you walk by them, you get soaking wet. So we'll just go through here. So I think a really good option would be a Paulonia tormentosa. This has grown loads for me this year. This has grown from here. You know, a good four foot of growth. Again, we've got the big leaves. And it will tower above your head pretty quick. And the leaves do arch out as well. So it's not you don't just grow straight up. You could put a banana in. Obviously they grow massive leaves right above your head. A fig maybe. This is the first fig I've ever had, so I'm not sure what effect this will have, but the leaves are quite close together. And they do grow pretty big. You could use a fats here. Again, there's not big leaves, but they are close together and they do grow above your head. So let me know if you know any other plants that you think could be used? So like I said, all these plants are what I've got in my garden that I know will work. So all these plants, then what What do they have in common? What do they need to be? So first off, they need to have big leaves. 
obviously they haven't got leaves either, but it's better if they do have big leaves and they need to be arching out as well, not just growing straight up and up and out. Obviously if they, they arch out, obviously they're going to go over the path. So yeah, if it haven't got big leaves, then make sure it does arch out, they have the same effect. If it hasn't got big leaves as well, it needs to have a lot of leaves, then you get that effect. And it needs to be able to be lifted as well, so that means taking all the lower branches off. Because obviously if you've got all the branches out, you would be walking into them. And then obviously you take all the lower branches off. Still got the leaves at the top, where your canopy, and then you can plant underneath, and then done right, that does that can look amazing. So I think some plants like this tracky, you could plant one either side of the path and it'll grow up and it'll knit together quite nice. But I think if you put like a touch of panax here, no they'll be clashing into each other, you don't want that, you don't want them banging into each other and not looking very good. So I think the best way for some stuff is to plant staggered so you plant one here one over there and then one further down and then then they'll meet but they won't be clashing with each other and competing too much you can see down here with these trackies I plant them staggered because I did try and do this I've tried to do this before so these are staggered but they will be alright if I touch each other then we see get the canopy here and also you could use some climbers as well to create your canopy. They can grow up into up into the canopy, like you see here. Got that climber growing into the Gary Elliptica. So yeah, you need the big leaves. And then you plant them sort of either next to each other or staggered. And it will take its time. Oh, you're not going to get this in a year. You will have to wait unless you're buying big specimen plants, but I'm guessing you won't be. So it will take time, but it will get there. Like I said, this is about five or six year old. So fast growing. All of these plants, really, that I've mentioned are fast growing. So it shouldn't take too long. And you might be thinking, well, you're telling me all this, but you haven't got, you haven't done it. The reason for that is because when I first started this garden, because I'm on really poor soil here, the really lush stuff that needed a lot of water, a lot of nutrients, didn't really grow that well for me. So I sort of like give up on it. And over the last couple of years I've realised with the Tetrapanax and the Paulonia and the Trekkie that I, I've got plants that will do that. So I am, it's back on for me now, so I am going to try and do it round here, going into the back, I'm not going to do the whole garden like it but yeah, so what I'm waiting for now is me tetrapanax to pulp and I'm going to take some cuttings of the paulone here I think it does, does do alright some cuttings yeah, so I've got a few spaces in here now that I can sort of put something here put something there if this does to go jungle here, I probably will have to move the olive that's in a bad spot and I've got other stuff planted about. So yeah, I think it is something that I'm going to try and do. So watch this space. Once I get some more plants, I'll be trying it. Got another space here. I've obviously got a lot of gaps. This Gary Elliptic, I don't know if that'll have a good effect. So I might have made a mistake planting that there. Might, as time goes on, I might get rid of that. But yeah. I'm going to give it a go. So let me know if you've got a good canopy going in your garden. What plants you've used. If I if I haven't mentioned some of them. Or if you can think of a better way to do it. Let me know in the comments. Right, remember to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.